So, I don't know how often these two have ran into each other, but now it's as good a time as ever to develop counter play against Jen, who's switched over to a signature Palutena. Yeah, yeah, I guess not feeling the Terry for the Pauly. big Meerkat. Uh, when you gotta fight Space Kitties, you just gotta, like, just put on God mode. Yeah, I, put them <laughs> down. I think last time they played, they did go game three. I could be wrong. I think you're right. Yeah, I know. So. Ugh. That's one thing you, you can always appreciate about Mewtwo. Like, Mewtwo's gonna move around a lot, gonna have a very fluid combo game, but it can also just, like, stop on a dime and start mashing. Just big buttons. How many, how many percent, how much percent he's gonna get off this jab? I mean, again, oh. you gotta watch out for those disable. Uh, nice of 10 to just turn around, because you can't get disabled if you turn around. Is that really how yeah. that works? Yeah. You have to you look you eye to eye. He has to, you have to look him right in the eye. I've never played a character that needs to respect me to disable, so I would not know that. Yeah. It's been a thing, it's been, that's been a thing since Melee. That's really funny. It's cool. Yeah. He also, I, it also doesn't work in the air. Yeah. No, that I know is that if it hits an aerial target, it just acts as a base projectile. Yep. Which, I mean, that's neat. <laughs> I think Palutena's got better aerial projectiles, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> Yo, that grab killed. That happens from time to time. So that guy likes to do that teleport onto stage. Ugh. Yeah, no, you can't be recklessly throwing out projectiles against Jen. I, I, one thing I do have to bring up when it comes to the top Palutena player is, is that I feel like Jen is the most adept at using all of her moves. Like... I would say he's just not an air guy. He's he's not he's much more than a nair guy. I think like he's a maybe fair second guy. only to Nairo when it comes to making use of every move in Palu's kit. On a good day, I would even say on par because he will use any move to cover any option. I actually think he's more than pa Nairo on the, like his best day. On his best I think, day, I think he's better. Look at that, like better. Aaron Audrey forward smash. That's how you're gonna do it. I told him that. Oh, um, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. He calls that the player four. Um, I don't think he does. Yeah. Fact, I think he just calls it a good option. No. Definitely calls it the P4. All right. Teleport to get back down the stage. Oh, drop shield right there. Maybe he was looking for a parry. Yeah, all game one, Zenkai has been hunting for this forward smash and it, it, it deals a respectable amount of damage. But well, yeah, it also kills fairly early. I believe it's his strongest smash attack right now. Maybe down smash. Ugh. But I, I, I want to believe the Kamehameha wave is the strongest one. I mean, hey, listen, it's, it's putting in the work for Zenkai. It's not out of it just yet. Yeah, one back throw or up throw right now will definitely kill around ledge. If he can catch Chem, though, notice how the percentages have been creeping and the more that that's happening. Jen is opting for a bit more of the uh, the far-ranged game until he has his path to center stage. Yeah, yeah but one stock, take, one stock is taken. Mewtwo can rack up damage really fast. So, why right there, took his jump and at the ledge. And me, so, that guy gave him a lot of respect right there, but managed to get the parry into jab. Oh, try to two-frame with F-Smash. Is that even far enough to reach? Uh, from that distance, no, but I think he angled it down and it might work. I don't know. Oh, oh that'll kill, though. No yeah. problem. Back here, gonna swoosh on by. Give Gen game one. Although, I like a lot of the ideas that Zenkai was putting out on the board. Being aggressive with hitboxes is, of course, not a bad move. Although, I do think he should be fishing with jab more than forward smash. Keep the forward smash, um, you know, fresh. That way, it can kill. But also, he has no problem racking up damage with the Rapid Jam. Yeah, but, so if he manages to hit with the F-Smash, so, and he barely hits with it, like, uh, I'll be fine with that. So then, like, another move, like, Bear, or that he uses our Bear, can easily kill, and it'll be more fresh. Right, Pickett to Kalos is working out really well for Zenkai right out the gate, but... When you turn control of the ledge to Jen, it's so dangerous, man. Yeah, but that guy just manages to do aggressive option with Mewtwo. People forget. I feel like people just forgot about Mewtwo, man. Like, since Smash 4, people are just, like, still not getting hit by these aerials. 
from like coming back. Like right there, Jen now remembers that was an option from previously getting hit by it before. There's, to be fair, there's very few Mewtwo players right now who are active. And to Zen Kai's credit, he does put in a lot of work in a fairly dangerous scene. Okay, not um, confident on his punish on that smash, so just double dumping out of there. I like the patience from both players. Like, they're trying to stay out of each other's zone of influence. Yeah, but I feel like Jen is just too far away to, like, even punish the whiffs. So he just jumps, he, like, jumps back or, like, dashes back when Zenkai is, like, charging the S-Mash and just gives him too much room. He could just stand there or, like, wait, so, like, somewhere outside the range, and then Segni does it, punishes it, like, some little laggy. It's probably, it's definitely, like, a double-digit frame. Like, the fact that Jen has to keep himself at, like, sh I would say shield range, by that I mean dash attack and back air, is, like, a testament to how dangerous uh, Mewtwo can be and how much respect he's giving to Zen Kai right now. Even with the lead. Okay, fair. Yeah, not along with him. Oh my god, oh fair. Oh, not doing the fair too high, not comboing, and now getting the jab combo from, from Zenkai. That jab definitely racks up a lot of percent for Mewtwo. It does, it's, it's such a good move too, because it's fairly quick. Yeah, frame two, or like three, maybe five, slowest, but that sounds outrageous. It's just a flick of the wrist, man. Flick of the, flick of the wrist. <laughs> I haven't heard that song from me. <laughs> yeah, no, Hit me with the 2010s, Devin. Ooh. Gotta put it way out there. All right, that's the position to give jab that we want to see from Zenkai. When you hit your target from behind like that, slowly drag them out into the sour spot. There is no way to SDI that. He's away. definitely going to just SDI away. Like, Everybody, everybody's just scared. Oh, my. Yeah. Who taught him that? That wasn't me. That was no, not me. That was not me. That's a Gen original. I feel like I don't see enough Polo Tennis going for that. Going for like one or two hits of the Nair, especially single hit Nair, as your hit confirm, it gives me shades of like Smash 4 Bayonetta, where you just need that one hit, that one unescapable hit confirm. Oh, but you yeah. can't be missing like that. I th he thought he was going to land on the other side. That's fair, but like, look at how much damage. And good catch from yeah. Zenkai ties up the stocks. So there's definitely enough lag, if you just saw right there, from Mewtwo's landing, from the teleport. But Jen, I feel like, doesn't know how much and like he has, and just gave him a lot of respect. And just waited for the second option right there. So now, the re-grab, landed on stage, respected option. Good DI from Zenkai, got him out of that situation. Yeah. Jen had no real follow-ups after that. Great shark, and Mewtwo's up here. It's definitely one of the better up airs in the game. And just not utilized enough back air. Going out Ooh. deep. Nice drift. The patience in shield. All right. I'll see you guys. All right. This is Zenkai's opportunity to try and nab this. Yeah. That's what he's going to do with forward smash. Hit him with the Kamehameha. Guys, go. Yo, I like how Jen tried to like angle himself outwards with his warp so that he uh, wouldn't get uh, hit with down smash. Yeah, he was definitely afraid of the option because Jen got hit the first, on his second stock and killed him really early. All right, we're getting the run back to Kalos. I feel like it's not often that you would see a, uh, a run back to this stage and you see someone perform like so much better on it. Like, it's very clear that Zenkai wanted more space to operate. The lateral orientation of the stage worked out really well for his game plan of run back, bait in an approach, punish with moves that he could, while also having options at the ledge. Mind you, Jen didn't play to the stage badly, but I feel like Zenkai is just playing so much better now that he has room to breathe. Yeah, it's certainly true. Oh, back throw right there, I thought. And I All right, uh, that yeah. wasn't necessary. Yeah, that definitely cost him. He used his double jump really early on, and I definitely didn't notice it. So that's why he let himself fall and do that laggy option. 
Oh yeah, he also messed up using his wall jump to to help with teleport. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah. Oh, massive damage. Got got Mewtwo air dodging the ledge. And the way that shield from from Jen, just knowing that Zenkai likes to do this option, and he hasn't put out the side B once from ledge, so he could just chill for free. Oh, going, going past, past it. All right. And Another then, adaptation, although Mewtwo does have answers for that. So you got to be careful with how you mix it up. Yeah, and great job for Jen. To, like, yeah, great job from Jen going high into the ledge because you can't get two frame. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was actually living that, but stock ending right there. Oh, he could have ended it with an up air, but Jen not recognizing the DI in. Yeah, no, it's it's weird because Jen is like in equal parts trying to feel out what to do with Mewtwo. But at the same time, he's like forced to respect these unknown buttons. Because Zen guy has a very good idea of how to fight Palutena. He does so on a regular basis because Long Island has its own batch of Palutena's. Maybe not up to the caliber of Jen, but... Like they're, they're, a, they're, they're the training ground. Jen's like, Jen's like the real thing. And the Long Island's like, yo, we're, we'll warm you up. Oh, they've done a fine job as Zenkai's managed to hold his own with one of the best. Good stall there with Fusion. Oh, missing it, but Bear hitting him right there. Down throw. You know, Zenkai is just like battle hardened from this down throw team. He like, knows exactly how to get out away from back air. I feel like Jen can. Oh, feel no, like what? Never mind, I feel what, like Zenkai can maybe like? not DI like a chimp one of these days. But good on the kid for getting himself a top eight. He is going to be placing seventh alongside Aeon Raptor, who had lost the extra O. Yeah. 